Welcome back to Life in Suzhou. I'm Alana from Shanxi Province. Hi, and I'm Bilal from England. So today we are going to bring you to our top five hidden locations across Suzhou to take photos and also to relax. Nice. So I have two really cool places to take you, Alana. What about you? I have three more to share with you as well. Awesome. Let's check out the first one. Let's go. Let's go. This is our first location called Blue Park in the Old Town. Here I'm going to show you the first old building. You can be really surprised what's inside. Here we are. Wow, this place is super nice, Alana. Right. All right. So there's a boutique over here, a super nice coffee shop, and upstairs is an art gallery. Yes. And hold on a minute. Is that a bed I see? Sure it is. Can you actually sleep there? Yeah, you can even borrow the rope to pretend like you're actually sleeping here. This is really famous, right? I guess. Yeah, this is their special thing. All right, you come in, take a picture with your friends, and big round, big round window. Okay, and a little cave. They have the cave, right? All right, all right, all right. You can actually stay here forever, this and they have the plot. You can actually work here for the whole day. Perfect for introverts. Right. And sit here with a little coffee as well. Yeah. Do you want coffee? Let's grab something. Yeah. Sure. sure. Let's go. All right. What do you want? Uh, I've heard their cakes are very, very special and famous. Let's get one, and sure. I want to get a flat white as well. I will get an American. Okay. Let's get it. So this is a super cool place. I actually saw an artist in the corner making some paintings. He's a really, really cool guy. Yeah, and I think photography is great um, in terms of the colors, the shapes, and also the architecture and the lighting is perfect. But not very busy right now. It's we. I feel like there's only a few people here right now. Because it's during the week. It's super busy during the weekend. So you you have to plan your time. Got to plan your time. Yes. All right. So should we go to the next place now? Let's check it out. All right, let's go. Well, here we are at our second location, Blue Sports. Here is actually a very well-developed creative park. You can see it's really an awesome place. I actually recognize this place. I came here once for a secret event at nighttime, no. and I recognize the skate park, the basketball court, and there's a football pitch here as well. Ooh. In the daytime, they're quite different. There's a theater, all these ca cafes and restaurants. It's very unique and quite busy. Oh, but I'll show you one of my favorite spots. Shall we go there? Yeah, go I didn't go. see that before. Let's go. Let's go. So, what do you think of this place? Well, honestly, I think this place is a little bit weird having so many coffee shops and then these sports places. I don't see really the connection between them. I actually preferred the place we went to before. Oh, okay. Yeah, and if it's okay, I want to take you to a place that is more of a classic photography spot of Suzhou. So oh, really? how about we go there next? I'd love to. Okay, so here we are. This is the classic viewpoint of Suzhou, mm. of Jinji Lake and also the classic Dongfangzi Men building, otherwise known as the infamous Pants Building. By the way, do you know we have another perfect view on the top of the Dongfang Men? I haven't been there yet actually, so there's cafes and restaurants there? Yeah. So far, we've been exploring the city, and Alana, now I want to bring you to a different kind of place. Ooh. We're near to Taihu Lake, mm -hmm. and this area actually reminds me of England a little bit. Mm. Because when I was a kid, I grew up in a house that was next to a forest. Oh, you know what? My hometown is also surrounded by mountains. So I'm kind of like an outdoor person. Well, I'm not a very outdoorsy kind of person, mm -hmm. and the name of this place is called Fresh Forest. Right. It's not a real forest, but I think you'll really like what's inside. The weather is so good, I can't wait. All right, let's, let's go. go, let's go. Right.
You know this place that even it's in winter. Yeah, it's even winter. Really interesting. I think in spring and autumn would be perfect. Mm -hmm. Come here for like maybe so a, colorful. Even a few hours. So I think we found Instagram heaven in this magical bamboo forest. What do you think? I love everything about this place. They have the mini zoo, their pathway in the forest, their bridges, and also the cafe has so many levels and spaces. It's definitely a good place to hang out with friends. Yeah, and not only that, nearby there is uh, some hot springs, there's Taihu Lake, you can go hiking. And every season, the uh, environment changes and there's something new to see. So even though it's about 40 minutes away from campus, mm -hmm. I think it will only cost about 30 or 40 RMB if you share a car with, with friends. I will definitely come back. Should we head back to the city now? All right, okay. Let's go, bye. Finally, we made it into Huai Hai Street. I'm so excited to introduce you to this Japanese street in the west of Suzhou. Although it's a bit far from the campus, but you can take the metro or take the DD with your friends. Yeah, but it's totally worth coming because I've heard a lot of people coming from Shanghai and other cities just to come here and hang out and take pictures. Yeah. I have to confess to Alana, I've actually been here before. Aww. Yeah, about a year ago, a friend of mine who's super into Japanese food, culture and uh, music, mm. he brought me to an authentic sushi restaurant. Oh. that has a master from Tokyo. So that was a great experience, but mm -hmm. I didn't get any pictures last time. Uh, but I am glad we can do it today. And it looks so pretty with the lights and everything. It looks great. Yeah, even if you come, come back during the day, you can rent a kimono and you can see a lot of girls with kimono and taking photos. Yeah, well, uh, renting a kimono isn't, isn't part of our plan right now, nah. but taking pictures is. So how about we explore the street and find the best places for pictures? Sure, definitely. Okay, that concludes our top five hidden spots. That's right, there are dozens more places around Suzhou that are really good for photography. If you know of any, let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. See bye ya. bye.